After exploring the ins and outs of Next.js routing in our first section, we are now ready to tackle something equally important in the second section, rendering in Next.js. Rendering might sound complex, but it is actually pretty straightforward. It is a process of transforming the component code you write into user interfaces that users can see and interact with. The tricky part to building a performant application is figuring out when and where this transformation should happen. You've probably heard terms like CSR, SSR, and RSCs being thrown around, and maybe they've left you scratching your head. Don't worry, we're going to break all of this down in a way that makes sense. But before we jump into rendering in Next.js, let's take a step back and look at how rendering works in React itself. Since Next.js is built on top of React, understanding React's rendering model will make everything else click into place. I should mention, we are about to cover quite a few concepts in this section. If something doesn't make complete sense right away, that is totally normal. Feel free to pause and rewatch any part that feels unclear. Trust me, sometimes it takes a couple of passes for these concepts to really sink in. All right, with this introduction in mind, let's dive into how React handles rendering. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.